It's a pretty crappy overcast day, but I'm still getting a little bit of charge. Um, this right here is called a watt meter or watt meter. I'm interested in this number right here it shows the wattage because the solar panel on the roof is rate is rated at uh, 200. So this that's a, my way of uh, determining the efficiency because it, it can get up to 200 theoretically. I've only seen it get over 100 because um, we are in the rainy season and uh, the, a lot of bright sky but very overcast. It's kind of a drizzly rain today. Um, now this this right here is the boost controller and it, it, it's also showing that uh, it's spitting out some numbers. That's the panel voltage right now. That's the uh, rate of charge. Uh, and that's the battery voltage right now. Um, turn this off, click it back on. This thing will wake up. And um, I have it set at 66 volts. Now, theoretically, uh, the regular plug-in charger will bring it completely charged up to like 67 point something or just 67 is 100 100 percent uh, it's much quieter with the electric vehicle compared to that motorcycle um, anyways uh, that's just some information a lot of this other stuff will put you to sleep but this thing this thing will do a, a large variety of batteries all the popular and it has a, a preset I set mine manually for a self-setting, but it also has a, uh, for a 60 volt battery, it has uh, a, uh, a automatic setting. So anyways, that's just an overview. Uh, give you an idea of what's going on with this thing. Another thought is this thing looks very complicated. It really isn't. This wire is uh, coming from the solar panel. It's uh, 12 gauge. And I looped it through this meter, it just loops through. So it's actually coming a straight line. Then it hits the, uh, the 16 amp circuit breaker. Uh, it's a fast flow circuit breaker for solar panels for safety. And then uh, it goes into this controller. And then the controller, the wiring for the controller is like 17 gauge. So I went with 17 gauge for the battery. Um, has a built in fuse here. Um, 10 amp. I have a double 10 amp breaker right off the battery. Uh, so that's the story. So it's not that bad. It's really, uh, basically you're just building a charger just like the wall charger would plug in the house and plug into the, the charge port. It's basically the same idea. So don't, don't be afraid. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye.